What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with a Escape from Tarkov update. If you haven't heard about the drama, I'm sure you will hear about the drama. So Nikita and Battlestate Games have released a new version of Escape from Tarkov. Uh, I believe it's called Unheard version. Uh, basically, it is a single player version of Escape from Tarkov that you can actually do co-op missions with your friends now and you can progress by leveling up in those co-op pve missions um so essentially what people have like kind of wanted to see in as a single player tarkov or a co-op mode um for just pve purposes that is what unheard is basically um has made for those type of player base so with that being said there's some other things that come along with it <clears throat> but the community uh, from Escape from Tarkov, a lot of content creators, a lot of streamers have been bitching and complaining about how the release of the, like this version of Tarkov basically goes against Edge of Darkness. Edge of, Dark Edge of Darkness originally stated that any future DLC or, you know, expansions of the game, you would already have free access to it because you bought Edge of Darkness. Myself, I bought Edge of Darkness back in 2018 and I'm kind of torn on this a little bit uh, because, and I'm going to get into this a little bit later, but with this, I see both sides of it. I see that a company came out and stated that this is what you get when you purchase this product. And I get the consumer base of it where people sit there and say, this is what you promised us. You're not living up to your promise. But I also am in the middle because I feel like a lot of people nowadays are not realistic about what companies are capable of doing and the expectations of what they need in order to survive. Um, but with that, all the backlash, all the bitching, all the complaining on Twitter, Reddit, everything else, um, this just came out this morning on Forbes, uh, April 27, 2024, 805 AM. Escape from Tarkov EOD owners will get the $250 mode for free at launch. After days of community backlash, the developers of Escape from Tarkov have finally offered to give the new PvE mode to the owners of Edge of Darkness Edition that included a season pass for all future DLCs. However, they won't get access until Tarkov hits 1.0. Um, Tarkov is still considered in beta, even though it's been out for like seven years now. Um, earlier in the week, the new Unheard Edition was revealed and was criticized due to offering bonuses that many thought were paid to win. However, the much bigger issue was the launch of the players versus environment mode that allows players to play only against AI with no other real players in the lobby. This mode was only made available to those who purchased the new edition for $250. Um, it's crazy. That is a crazy amount for a game, uh, especially a game that's been out uh, for seven years and stuff and has had the issues that it's had. Uh, I do think that ask of it was pretty wild, but... With that being said, too, uh, much bigger issues launch versus environment mode, but offered available those purchase. What was this one? Offering bonuses that may that many thought were pay to win. So some of that stuff that they're referring to as pay to win is basically you have different skill sets in the game, um, such as healing, such as like stamina, um, you know, all that shit that's in the game that your character like develops and gets better at over time from exposure by playing the game. Basically a lot of those things were already increased to level three, like status in the hideout or level three status of your skills. So a lot of people were like, you know, you're jumping ahead and you're basically bypassing and skipping the grind, which I'm going to comment on that part of it too. Um, so a lot of these people that I saw complaining about it and very upset about it were full-time content creators. And I'm kind of like, at disbelief as why they were so upset about that because to me like you guys are playing this game 10 to 12 to 14 hours a day and you have the time to grind that is required for this game whereas someone like myself i work anywhere from 50 to 60 hours a week i have a family that i have to take care of i have other priorities than just this game so from a solo player's perspective who gets to play roughly three times a week maybe two to three hours I'm looking at possibly getting in anywhere from one to four raids, depending on how those raids go. If they're completely successful, I pretty much use that majority of the time of the raid because I want to play. I want to level up my character. If I get shit on by a four man sitting in a bush, which has recently been going on and why I stopped playing Tarkov, 
then yeah, I'm going to be getting in more raids because I'm going to be dying pretty quick. Um, statement made yesterday promised the owners of EOD Edition uh, would be able to try the new mode for free, but would then need to purchase the new 250 edition to unlock it permanently. However, following from Following further outrage, the decision seems to have been changed. Posting on Reddit, game director Nikita announced that all owners of Edge of Darkness Edition will get access to PvE mode, but only when the Tarkov level uh, leaves beta and launches at 1.0. There's no, there's currently no word exactly when this will happen, but the team has previously said they were targeting this year for full launch. That a lot of things are currently working on will be added at launch. We observe your dissatisfaction and have decided that the functionality of the PvE mode will be available for free to all owners of EOD version at the release of the game when the server infrastructure will be improved um, to the required capacity. So also explain that the PVE mode still requires you to connect one of their online servers. They do not currently have infrastructure to roll it out to all EOD owners um, who make up significant part of the player base. So this right here, okay, is something that I wanted to touch on. There are a lot of people that when they came to Escape from Tarkov and decided to purchase the game, they bought the EOD edition. I 100% understand that. With EOD, you get um, max trader, like you get an increase in your traders and stuff. You get an increase in stash space, which if you've ever done hardcore and stuff, getting the materials that you need for your stash can be a major pain in the ass. So there was some massive benefits to buying the Edge of Darkness edition. And I get why a lot of people would buy that, especially for the fact that any DLC content released, you were already getting free access to, okay? Now, let's put this into a different perspective though for a second. How can you generally expect a company to continuously put money into their product, okay? To continue to develop their product, add additional resources to their product such as like an anti-cheat they've been trying to do they've done brand new map expansions um like factory was an expansion customs was an expansion woods was an expansion um you then have lighthouse which was, was a completely new map you have light keeper now which has additional tasks and everything that you have to go and do you then had streets you then have uh the new bosses on streets you had the goons added, you had Killa added, you've had like multiple things added to this game. Ground Zero has now been added with additional quests and everything that you can do. So there has been like constant expansion of this game that has taken place. And say, say 70% of your player base is EOD based, you're losing out a shit ton of money by pumping in the revenue you need to develop and make these things that you're just giving away to people for free. If you want a different perspective of it, I have literally bought every Call of Duty that has come out except for the remake of Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. I didn't buy those because from a like consumer perspective, from a player perspective, I got sick and tired of just the recycled content that Call of Duty continued to put out I got sick and tired of all the shit going on in Warzone with the cheaters, the bugs, the glitches, the, like, just the shitty servers they have for Warzone and everything. I got sick and tired of dealing with it. So guess what? From a consumer, I stopped putting my money into that. I stopped playing it completely. I still hop on Warzone from time to time very rarely. I've maybe played this new season twice since it's come out. And that's only because I had some friends who said, hey, man, you want to jump in some games? Sure, I'll jump on and play a few. I don't enjoy it, though. Call of Duty is ass. But if you break it down, let's just say... Okay, so like, let's just say for Call of Duty perspective, I looked this up, there has been 23 major titles released by Call of Duty. All right? So with that, let's pull up a fucking calculator here. Let's say $70 a game times 23. You're looking at $1,600 if you bought every single title that you've put into Call of Duty. All right. Now, let's take Verdansk. Let's take um, Caldera. And let's take whatever this new shit map is. That's three battle royales that they've done. Okay. And let's say that for each one of those, they've done 
10 seasons. So you're looking at 30, all right, battle passes, or like 30 uh, seasons total for those three Battle Royale maps that come with a battle pass that's pretty much $100 that you're buying, which people pump out. So now you're looking at a total of $4,600. In a perspective of Call of Duty, you look at how massive that organization is, how massive that franchise is and stuff, you have people who are pumping that kind of money into it. They're a multi-billion dollar company and they are giving you recycled content. The biggest things that they've done is like skins, weapon skins, all that shit. That's the main thing they've done. They've done nothing to improve their game whatsoever. The audio is still shit. It still plays like shit, blah, 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 whatever. But you have that kind of perspective of the money that people have been pumping into it. That's why they've been able to come out with the new battle royales, the new maps. They've been able to completely redo everything, but it's all shit. You put that in a Tarkov perspective, at least Tarkov has its issues but they're not asking for a shit ton of money from its player base on every single thing. They could have easily gone that route and said, hey, we've expanded factory. Here's the new DLC, it's $25. Hey, we brought out arenas, it's $35. Hey, we're adding streets, here's another $35. Hey, we just expanded woods, here's another $35. They could have easily went that route and they didn't. So like from a player, I understand the frustration of the community saying, hey, this is what you promised me and now you're going back against it. But at the same time, I also see after like two weeks of a wipe or three weeks of a wipe, tons of streamers sitting there saying, we need new content. We don't have anything to do. This game's dead. Y'all don't care about us. Dude, cause y'all put such a fucking financial strain on the company by keeping them in this situation and stuff. The only way for them to grow is to do something like this for their new player base. Now, with all that being said, Tarkov could take a different direction. They could essentially make a battle pass, which I think is a pretty common thing nowadays. They could make literally a wipe pass where as you earn your ranks and your levels throughout the wipe, you get access to small little cosmetics. In order to get that, guess what? You got to pay $25, $20, $10, whatever it is, okay? Not a crazy ask, but I'm sure everybody would buy it with all of a sudden at the end of the wipe, if you could hit level 70 or you get Kappa and you achieve that, you all of a sudden get a killa suit that is camouflaged. Fully decked out cam like camo killa suit that you can equip to your person, have them run around, all that shit. Something crazy like that. Pick a boss, give them like an elite skin like Rainbow Six Siege does from time to time per season. They give their operators an elite skin. You can earn that through the battle pass. It's not a crazy ask. You have cosmetics you could add to your guns. You have cosmetics that you could add to your, uh, your operator. You have things that you can add in your hideout as far as a different style of fucking shelving, something. They could have went that route. They could have added small little things to the game that people enjoy and made it different okay so i understand where people are coming at saying this is crazy to have me where i've been loyal to your game for so long blah 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 and now you want me to pay 250 dollars. guess what though they've been loyal to you too believe it or not this is my take on it a lot of people in the comments will probably say dude you're fucking dumb you're full of shit you don't know what the hell you're talking about they've been loyal to you too they have not nickeled and dimed you guys for every little thing they put in the game if you had EOD, you got it, okay? It seems like now with how much people have bitched and complained from the Tarkov community, you're gonna get what you want again. But at the same time, if you want stuff that's free that you were promised in the beginning, then you can't be sitting there in the same seat complaining about how shitty the game is, how they don't care about the community and the development of the game and blah, blah, all this stuff, when we are the ones putting a financial strain on the company by not helping support the company. I hope that makes sense to y'all because that's how I see it. My last and final take, one thing I wish Tarkov would have done that I think would have helped their player base tremendously and made the game more enjoyable and keep people playing it essentially, is I would have loved to have seen 
different Q sessions for different player bases. And what I mean by that is I'm a solo player. I don't get much time to play the game as it is, like I stated before. I would have loved to have seen something where it's like solo Q raid, duo raid, trio raid, quad raid, five stack. Like some type of selection for that, for the servers. I understand people are going to say, dude, that takes out the hardcore aspect of it. You would know how many people are in your raid, blah, 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 all this stuff. Honestly, I truly believe that if you had a solo Q raid, you'd probably get more people to actually fill up that raid. Instead of it being a curiosity of, is there nine people in here or is there 16 people in here? I imagine they'd probably be full. If you had just a duo aspect of it, trio and so forth, those would probably actually be pretty full because people, one, would know when they're fighting a team, they know what to expect. Okay, They know how many there is. I think you'd get a lot more content creators who would actually like that are high skill leveled at the game would try and solo queue into a quad based raid, a trio based raid. That would make for some pretty badass PVP in my opinion. But with that being said, the streamers, the content creators, you guys are a very small percentage of the player base in Escape from Tarkov. And I understand that some of you speak up for the community and I respect that for you guys. The ones that have larger platforms, I respect the fact that like people like Pestily, Landmark, things like that, they speak up, Lupo, they speak up for the community. They raise awareness of what the community is saying and how the community feels. I respect that. But there's a lot of people that are content creators that also just speak in terms for themselves. And I don't think that you guys, when you're speaking out sometimes, you're not taking in the fact that you're honestly probably 2% of the entire player base for Escape from Tarkov. Okay, I've made Tarkov content. I've streamed Tarkov. I am not a Tarkov content creator by any means. I don't do this shit full time. I work. And for me, it's very frustrating that I grind and grind and grind at a game when I have time to do it. And I'm always running into two mans, three mans, whatever. And in my stash, I have dog tags that are set up where it's like, I killed two out of the three, killed three out of the four. And I know some little shithead's gonna come in here and say, that's a skill issue, bro. You just gotta hit your shots. Get good, kid. Shut the fuck up, okay? It's the fucking facts of what it is. It sucks. It's frustrating that I don't have a lot of time to do what I want to do in the game because of the grind that it requires. And that is one thing that I've always loved about the game is the hardcore aspect of the grind. So I also see where people say, dude, this is pay to win. You're taking out that grind aspect, the hardcore reality of it to like work up to those levels to earn that stuff. You're just skipping ahead. I understand that perspective of it, but someone who also doesn't have a lot of time who would like to kind of jump ahead to where they don't have to grind that stuff and they can just grind task, grind missions, get to a point where they can actually hold up in fights and PV and PVP aspects. Dude, let them pay for it. That's just going to help the company get the money that they want in order to sustain the content that you all as EOD owners want and not have to pay for. Let them pay for that stuff. That's fine. But I think Tarkov has taken a wrong step personally in this new approach. But at the same time, I think the overall player base and the community and EOD owners, I think you need to step back and realize that we're also putting a financial strain on the company with expectations that they owe us new things. They owe us expanding this game. They owe us all these new aspects that they are trying to develop for free. Okay. I don't understand that logic of people. I get the fact that this says specifically you get free access to all DLC content. That I 100% understand. You are holding a business accountable to what they said by purchasing this. But at the same time, they've given you a lot of stuff and they've shown you a lot of loyalty with the development of their game throughout the years that they're not going to nickel and dime you, such as larger franchises like Activision, who does Call of Duty, all that shit, where they are going to nickel and dime you and never improve the capacity of their game. Just give you little things here and there. That's my take on it. It seems like everything from all the people whining and crying and stuff about it, you're getting your way again with Tarkov. So to that point, congratulations on getting what you want. 
and you know holding the company accountable but at the same time i know i'm going to see these people on twitter constantly sit there after this new wipe and talk about how the game's dead we don't have any events we don't have anything to do after three weeks because they're sitting there grinding this game 14 hours a day i appreciate you guys if you stayed here like watching this and everything stay through leave me a comment i'm sure i'll get some troll comments and stuff but leave me a comment on what you think about these new changes that nikita has backed off of and is now going to give to eod owners um i think he's just holding up his end of the bargain as to what they had like said previously but leave me a comment on what you think i hope everybody's doing well hope you all have a great weekend and stuff just try to look at things from a different perspective in my opinion i really think that from a financial standpoint Tarkov has to make money. They need to find ways to make money for their game to continue to give you all what you want. But at the same time, we got to realize too, we got to start supporting the company as well, not just by buying EOD seven years. I appreciate you, Selfless Gaming. If you appreciate the content, the talk, conversation, the outlook, whatever, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all have a great weekend. Peace.